Greetings, I'm Dave Gilmore, and this is Design Intelligence. Inch deep leadership is pervasive. It may be a mile wide in every direction, but that's not what makes for sustainably effective leadership. It's the deepness that counts. So what's the meaning of deepness or depth? What's so important about leadership depth that it's distinguished from any other mark of effective leadership? Depth in this regard is manifest through multiple expressions. Expertise, wisdom, discernment, resonance, and more. All are different yet interdependent attributes of expressed leadership depth. It's not too difficult to express counterfeits to depth simply because most peers and followers don't recognize the genuine from the bogus. Most are influenced by first impressions, yet first impressions are just that, first impressions, awaiting secondary impressions to confirm or contradict. This is where the shallow leader falls into the trap. They're too quickly satisfied and resolved from what they sense and feel in themselves as a leader that they deceive themselves into believing their wit or expression indicates depth. They may believe that a newly acquired bit of knowledge or know-how has transformed them into an expert whom others should follow. Followers, beware the inch-deep leader who is self-convinced they are indeed a leader. As leaders go, so often go followers. Following a shallow sort will most likely result in you too becoming shallow. There's only a brief satisfaction that accompanies shallowness, yet it leaves the shallow unfulfilled and therefore looking for the next filling. Once on this treadmill, it's difficult to get off simply because other alternatives seem too much. After all, depth takes time to become deep, and that's not an attractive dynamic to impatient, shallow sorts. By the way, depth is multifaceted and multidirectional. It's not confined to our ideas of relative space as in vertical measure from surface to downward depth, a singular dimensional perspective. Leadership depth is understood as multidirectional through awareness and response, and that occurs across a broadened landscape of perspective and expression. What kind of leader are you? Until next time, I'm Dave Gilmore, and this is Design Intelligence.